I have seen in the Atlanta area Tesla superchargers after 10 or 11 o'clock at night as low as 11 cents per kilowatt hour to charge wow. a vehicle. Here's the thing, right? So you go to charge your vehicle at different times of the day. And unlike at a gas station, you pay different rates depending on the time of the day uh, that you're going. So if you go in the middle of the daytime when electricity usage is high, you're going to pay more for per kilowatt hour. Right. Peak hours, just like our power bill. And so in the middle of the daytime in the southeast on a Tesla supercharger, it may be as high as 35 cents per kilowatt hour. Wow. Yeah. Keep in mind, EVgo and all those other guys, the lowest I've seen is 45 cents per kilowatt hour. That's even in the, the, the lowest of periods. I have seen in the Atlanta area Tesla superchargers after 10 or 11 o'clock at night as low as 11 cents per kilowatt hour to charge right. your vehicle. Wow. Which is uh, pretty darn low, truth be told. So yeah, Tesla definitely has the most robust. That is by far the cheapest way to charge your vehicle when you're on the road. And as I said, usually the Tesla superchargers are in very convenient locations. Quite frankly, the, I can tell you with a fair amount of certainty, almost always the Tesla superchargers are going to be in very safe locations. I think mm -hmm. it's in their, um, in their charter when you sign up with them uh, that it's going to be in a pretty safe, and it's got to have certain amenities. <laughs> <laughs> So in general, there are certain stipulations and a certain criteria certain superchargers must meet to be a, a locale. And it's usually in a pretty safe area. So you can feel okay about getting out of your car. 